In this video, we're going to look at how to draw an electron dot diagram or a Lewis dot diagram for an atom. So let's say I was doing something like neon. Okay, neon has the electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Its highest energy level is 2, and there are 2 plus 6, so there's a total of 8 valence electrons. We can show that in what's called an electron dot or a Lewis dot diagram by putting these electrons around it. Now, if you remember when we were doing orbital notation, and there's a video on that, if we were doing orbital notation for this, if we were doing it just for the valence shell, let's say, okay, 2s2 would correspond to one box for x, uh, for s, and there'd be two arrows in it, and we would fill it like that, right? We would always fill that s first, and then after that, we would move on to the 2p, and how do you, how many boxes for p? It would be one, two, three, boxes to represent three orbitals. And we, how would we place those arrows? Well, we would do one in each box before doubling up. So this method of filling the orbital notation and the rules that correspond to that is going to be represented in a Lewis dot or an electron dot diagram. So what I would do is, let's say I have my symbol in the front, let's say NE, and if I'm placing the eight valence electrons around it, I'm going to start with two together, usually at the top, but you can do it at the side. And what that really is corresponding to is that's corresponding to your s orbitals, okay? Because we filled one and then two together. We paired them. And so we always filled one. We put the first dot at the top and then the second dot at the top. So that's the order. If we have two valence electrons, we put two at the top. Then, as we're filling, we're going to go around it. So if you remember P, we put one arrow in each box before doubling up. So when we're doing a Lewis dot diagram, we're doing one electron on each side, okay, before doubling up. And I don't care if you circle around clockwise or counterclockwise, that's up to you. Again, the reason why we're doing that is because each of these areas represent P orbitals and we fill those one at a time, one an arrow in each box, before moving on. So the order is one, two at the top, and then three here, four, five, circle around, and then pair up six, seven, eight. So that looks like a lot of work, but it's actually really easy to do. Let's just move across the period and do an example. So let's do period two, the second row of the periodic table. So Li has one valence electron, so to show that Lewis dot diagram or electron dot, I do Li, the symbol in the middle, and one dot at the top to show the one valence electron. Let's do Be, which is next to it. Be has two valence electrons, one, two. Let's do B. B has three valence, one, two, and now I start to circle around, P, up. Uh, three. <laughs> C has four valence electrons. I would do two at the top and start to circle around one, but remember now I go to the bottom. So after I put the two pairs at the, the, the pair at the top, I circle around one on each side before doubling up. This is to represent the P orbitals that are filled one at a time before any pairing takes place. Okay, then moving on, N, nitrogen has five valence electrons. So I would do the symbol N, two at the top, three, four, five. Okay, oxygen has six, two at the top, one, two, three around it, and now I can start doubling back up. And again, you can move around clockwise or counterclockwise, either way is fine. F, two at the top, one, two, three around. Okay, and now that adds up to seven valence electrons, and he has eight, so. I'm just putting all eight in, though I didn't put the correct order in my filling the dots. Okay, two at the top, circle around, and then start doubling up. That's how you do a Lewis dot or an electron dot diagram. You won't have to do it for more than eight valence electrons because we said the maximum number of electrons is eight. 